Hey guys, welcome back to Social Therapy Magazine. I am your host, Alicia Hartwell, the queen of self-love, and this is your daily dose of therapy. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also make sure you turn on all notifications by hitting on that little bell so you won't miss out on any new posts or videos by Social Therapy Magazine. So this is the next week of today's Q&R. And I'm really excited to really get into it. So for today's q and R, I'm going to lay out three cards and I want for you to choose only one card that you may resonate with. If it feels like you're resonating with all three cards, that's fine. But whatever card that you feel more attached to, I want you to select that card and take it from there. If you do not know what q and R stands for or what it is, basically is question and reflection. So I'm going to ask you a question and then we're going to take time to reflect. Normally uh, we post a video once every other week so it's bi-weekly and you have a whole week to just really reflect on that question. If you want to know a little bit more about questions and reflections you can always go back to the first episode where I talk about it a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and pick the three cards that popped out really quickly. Right how this feels. I don't know if it's going to let me get it. I like this one. Okay. Okay, so we have the three cards. I'm going to go ahead and just flip the camera. These are the three cards. This is card number one, two is in the middle, and three is at the end. So whatever card you resonate with, I want you to go ahead and pick that card. Take a moment if you have to. Pause the video. Take a a few deep breaths and maybe just go ahead and whatever card just resonates with you jump out right away that's the one you want to pick so the first card is this one here and this is what it says am i surrounding myself with people who add value to my life this was just really on my heart lately so it, it's it's kind of deep for me but the question is, again, am I surrounding myself with people who add value to my life? Who are you surrounding yourself by right now? Who, who is in your circle? Reevaluate the people who you see every day on a daily basis. Are they inspiring you to be better? Are they pushing you towards your goal? Are they holding you accountable? For the dreams that they know you have can you count on them to hold you accountable when you feel like you're slipping that's some of the other questions you got to ask yourself when it comes to this question here because are you surrounding yourself with the people who add value so let's think about adding value let's break that down add value they, they have to be adding value into your life so they're not bringing negativity into your life they're not bringing drama into your life. They're not bringing gossip into your life. They're not bringing bull crap into your life. They're adding to your life. They're, 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 they're adding value. They're sending you those good vibes. They're holding you accountable. They, they checking up on you and they saying like, what's next? This is what we're doing. And it, and it don't even have to be your close friends or whatever have you not, because it's some. It seems like. I'm starting to learn that there's a circle for every different area in your life. Like, you know, you have your circle, your friends and your family, of course, but then you, you got to have another circle in regards to your business and your career, that side of things. Like, it's a lot of different circles that you have, but you got to reevaluate the people who are you, who you're surrounding yourself by right now. You got to reevaluate that and ask yourself, am I surrounding myself with people who add value to my life? So, and this can be in career. So, you know, you want to be in another, at another place when it comes to your career. Maybe there's a certain goal or a certain dream you have, but you don't have the right people around you. You're not going out, meeting these people, meeting new people, going to events, doing this, doing that. You got to get out there, get your name out there and actually network with the right people that can add that value to whatever it is that you're doing. So think about that. If you chose the first card, 
that is what this is saying we're going to keep it moving though but this is card number two and it says <clears throat> am i continually learning and developing new skills am i continually learning and developing new skills okay so think about that for a little bit if you chose this card card number two are you trying to learn and develop new skills right now you know what it is that you want right now right you know what it is you want right now but are you learning and developing those new skills that you need to be at your best or whatever it is that you want to get to the top or wherever it is that you want to be because sometimes we gotta like all of our journeys it's all of our journeys are different, but at the same time, you're always learning. You're always learning no matter what it is. So it's like, are you still taking those lessons and learning from them? Or are you going through lessons and are you not learning anything? The more we live life and the more we learn, you're going to develop new skills. And that new skill could be something as simply as setting boundaries or setting um, a particular setting a particular standard maybe you want to coach people and you need a certificate so are you taking the steps to become a certified coach so it could be things like that so it can go anyway but that is the question for card number two if that is the one you chose let's go to card number three so this is card number three and this is what it says what one thing could I do daily to raise my sense of fulfillment? Hmm. What one thing can I do daily to raise my sense of fulfillment? That's a good question. I know that answer for me personally. I already do it. Um, and that's basically posting my daily reminders every day and my affirmations to uh, my social media so that gives me a sense of fulfillment because i know that i'm helping someone you know i know that someone is actually implementing them and you know i get messages all the time that my quotes or my reminders or my affirmations have been really helping them so that actually gives me fulfillment every day i do it daily like i do take a break on the weekend sometimes depending how i feel because you do need to rest but when i do do it it really does give me a sense of fulfillment with where i'm going in my own personal journey so i ask you if you chose car number three what one thing could i do daily what one thing can you do daily to raise your sense of fulfillment and that could be anything as little as you flossing in the morning. I'm just saying, a lot of people don't floss. <laughs> so maybe you wanted to get on that floss journey like, I'm going to floss my teeth today, okay? So go ahead. And if that gives you fulfillment knowing that your teeth squeaky clean, that's your sense of fulfillment for you. But I'm seriously, but it could be as little as that. It doesn't have to be so drastic, right? You have to start small or or it could be something as small as making your bed in the morning, right? So does that give you a sense of fulfillment? Because I know that back in the day when I used to didn't make my bed, <laughs> I don't know it's like it, it gave me a whole different type of vibe from then and now because now i make my bed every single morning and if i don't i will feel like my bed all over the place so i make it a priority for me to wake up in the morning and make my bed it gives me a sense of fulfillment because i feel accomplished because that was my first goal okay of the day aside from waking up but <laughs> so think about it what what one thing could you do daily to raise your sense of fulfillment and that was card number three so guys i hope that that really gave you a chance to really think 
okay? And really just think about the question that you chose and just ponder a little bit, get your juices flowing mentally, right? Take the question, write it down in your journal. If you have to rewind, pause, go ahead and do that. It's fine. If you would like to share your answer in the comments below, go ahead and do that. That's fine. Because once we start being vocal about the change that we are creating, you are allowing other people to hold you accountable. So go ahead and share in the comments if you answered one of those questions. Put it in the comments. Allow us to hold each other accountable. And I'm looking forward to seeing your answer. And other than that, I'm so glad you guys tuned back into the Daily Dose of Therapy. Again, my name is Alicia. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. And make sure you guys check out Social Therapy Magazine on all social media. And remember, if it don't feel right, it ain't right. And if it ain't right, it ain't for you. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>